Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's Poet WP. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a poem. Uh, I wrote when I was 23, 24. I, I was in a hyper period then where I was writing a lot, much like the period I'm in now, which is pretty cool. And um, this is one of those one poems I wrote that I was quite satisfied with. Even to this day, I am quite satisfied with. And I lost it for a while, and I couldn't find it. And I found it not too long ago. This one's difficult for me to read because I haven't read it in a while, so I'm out of practice. And it's also, I chose like this weird font, and it's hard for me to read. And my printer was crapping out and losing ink, so this is like my third time trying to do this video. I normally just try and do one take, but this one's been hard for me to read because I haven't read it in so long. And it's hard to read anyway with this stupid font I chose. <laughs> anyway, enough rambling. Let me try to read it again. Uh, better this time. It's called The Alchemy of a Moment Can Sustain a Universe. A mind seeking... The great liberation should not place itself inside the veil of attachments that come along with the classification of form. If one hopes to ever manifest one's eternal inc incarnate energy of the soul, which is the purest essence, which in its purest essence needs no form, and when fully actualized and illuminated with the precision of a great thunderstorm the soul can be projected into any living being and hence shape-shifting if you fear no entity living or dead angel or demon then you elude all areas of evil for you attain this for if you attain this you take the water from the roots If your will is stronger than and more vast than your physical reality, then it is possible to make what you will reality. In the concepts of the ancient magicians or magicians, summoning the four corners of the universe, the upper and most parallel self, the oversoul, uh, knows what it will always know. And all throughout time must comprehend what the consciousness with the conscious self may call intuition decipher the natural chemistry of that and you may feel all the security of heaven and when you, you meditate on these things one may be finding themselves on the threshold of what men call being a psychic. This is a revolution for modern man. Society has enslaved its own collective mind in a fabricated world that has detached its energy from the elements of existence. Establish your identity from within and externalize. And you will know peace from within in shining in all its radiance for all the world to marvel. That's one of those poems I definitely like just straight <laughs> channels. I wrote this in a trance. Complete trance. Like I didn't even know what I was writing when I was writing this. It is what it is. You can say, oh, you're lying. That's just a bunch of bullshit. That's fine. Whatever you want to believe. But that, that's how I wrote this. Um, and then different poems I write in different levels of trance. Some poems I'll write in no level of trance, right? About 15, 20% of them. I'm just... And when I say trance, it don't mean like I'm fucked up on drugs or drunk or something. My, I'm a temporal lobe epileptic who can control his s state. That's how I write, and that's how I meditate. 
I talked about this in my TLE in the Aries Aries Leo video. Some people are like, oh, he's just getting fucked up on drugs and like whatever, writing stuff. No, I'm not, okay? It's my brain chemistry. It's a simple lobe epileptic mind, okay? And this was written deep, deep, deep in a trance. A positive trance, a very positive trance. I don't remember writing it. And then I came out of the trance and boom, I wrote something. So, you know, and most people are going to hear me say that and they're like, oh, you're just making that shit up. You just thought that out and wrote it. Well, fine, you can believe that if you want. I, I don't care. I'm just telling you my truth, my reality that I was born here, put on earth to do. So, whatever. It is what it is. Hope you can dig it and I'll catch you next time.